How did you go about? So you want to? Did you want to write a book, or did the book just come about? Your first book. How how is that process? Well, it's interesting. I I had wanted to write a book and and had actually tried to a few years before that with Marty Barrett, who used to play second base with the Red Sox, and and we um, we had a book proposal done and we wrote a sample chapter. These are all the things that you that you do. I still do it today. And when I present to my agent and then he presents to the publishing companies and they, the consistent remark we, we got back was, well, you know, Red Sox nation, they're still hurting from 86 and it's too soon to write a book about that team. When I started reading about how Glenn Burke was dying of AIDS in, uh, 94, I was like, wow, you know, this, um, this is a great, this is a great story. I contacted Pamela Pitts with the Oakland A's, who was taking care of Cara Glenn, and uh, she said, "Put together a book proposal, and and we'll see if you know we'll see if he's interested." And and as it turned out, seventeen other writers and four movie companies had the same idea that I had, and uh, but he picked my my book proposal. Wow, do you remember the first day that it, it was released? I do. Uh, in fact, we had to self-publish because we had a publisher, but the publishing industry completely turned its back on baseball uh, due to the baseball strike. So anything related to baseball was canned. So we had a publisher, Taylor Publishing, out of, out of Texas, and they dropped it. And I said to Glenn, well, uh, I give you my, my vow that I will get your story out there, you know, even if I have to self-publish. And that's why I ended up doing it. I'm, I'm really glad I took that chance. I, I asked this question. Um, I just talked to Ed Hearn um, and, and uh, Robert Lipsight, another author. And I'm always interested when, when people who put themselves out there in any way, how, how do you deal with the, the reviews and the, the feedback, whether it's a fan, whether it's um, a, a reviewer from the newspaper? Um, how do you personally deal with that? Good and bad. It's interesting. Most of the reviews that my books have gotten have been pretty positive. After the miracle, the book I I just did with Art Shamsky, and um, you know, I'm sure you'll get into that. But you know, the the reviews were great. It, you know, it's just when you go on Amazon and you read some of the trolls that just completely misrepresent what you've written. Yeah, every once in a while, like I'll get the urge to uh, write back and respond. It's like, you know, they'll make some ludicrous comment like, wow, you know, it was just just about game summaries and stats. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, it wasn't wasn't about that at all. And yeah, you read that and you're like, yeah, it's it, it's it, it's stupid and bothers you for a little bit. But you, you just understand that some people just live their their lives to troll and and to make stuff up and and they're just trying to get under your skin but but for the most part i mean the you know the true pub publications that have reviewed the books i've written have really been positive and you know i'm grateful for that and um uh so um yeah, no, 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 no complaints as far as that goes. Um, has the has the book publishing business changed since you started? Yes, in many ways. Um, advances are half of what they were twenty years ago. I, I I think publishing the the industry has really reduced staff a great deal. You know, so you're doing more now. Uh, I mean, with Davy Johnson, I mean, I literally had to take him him and I to all of our media. Uh, because the publisher didn't want to fly somebody in from Chicago to, uh, you know, to take us from, from place to place. And, and that caused some anxiety, you know, and I think publishing in general, I mean, the, la the last time you picked up a newspaper or even some of the books you read today, you find mistakes. And it's because some of them don't have copy editors or proofreaders now. And it's startling. I mean, every time I pick up a newspaper, especially, it's clear that no one's proofreading. It's it's alarming how many mistakes that you find. So I think the industry as a whole has really cut back. Is it still is it still a good business for somebody who who maybe is in college right now that that's that's their goal and dream? 
Well, yeah, I mean, I think if you have uh, a love for, for, for writing, you know, then I think you should do it. Um, you know, I think a person should always strive to do what they love to do. And, you know, then, you know, you're never really working a day in your life, as the saying goes. But just know that it's, it, it's entertainment, really. You know, it's uh, very few people can make a living at this. Uh, and it's hard. You know, it's it's a hard living, but if you enjoy it, then I would still say that a young person should go ahead and do it.